Our last set of measurements deals with an idea that we call odds. And odds can be defined as the number of events divided by the number of non-events. Now, what is an event and what is a non-event is different for, for every uh, situation. But uh, let's look at this data, which uh, gives, uh, uh, which relates uh, hypertension to cardiovascular disease. And so in this data, we went out and we surveyed 3,782 people. Uh, 3,400 of them had, did not have cardiovascular disease. 369 of them had cardiovascular disease. Uh, a total of 2,942 of them did not have hypertension. A total of 840 of them did have hypertension. We had a total of 2,000, uh, or out of the, we had uh, 2,754 non-hypertensives did not have cardiovascular disease. 188 non-hypertensives did have cardiovascular disease, and so on and so forth. And so we could consider like having cardiovascular disease as an event and uh, not having cardiovascular disease as a non-event. And so let's calculate the odds of cardiovascular disease in non-hypertensives. And so we're going to take, we're just dealing with non-hypertensives here. And so we're going to take the number of events, which is 188, divided by the number of non-events, 2754. We do that arithmetic and we get 0 0.068. So those would be the odds of, uh, of um, having hypertension, of, of developing or of having cardiovascular disease uh, in this group of non-hypertensives. Okay. Uh, likewise, we can calculate the odds of uh, cardiovascular disease and hypertensives. So we're going to take the number of events, the 181, divided by the number of non-events, 759, or 659. We do that arithmetic and we get 0.275. So those are the odds of having uh, cardiovascular disease in this group of hypertensives. Okay. Now, to compare those two different groups of people, uh, we can calculate this so-called odds ratio. And uh, this is another term that we're going to see come up frequently in our journal readings. Odds ratio is a commonly used way of comparing different groups of, of people. And uh, so the odds ratio is we're going to take the odds of the exposed divided by the odds of the unexposed. And so let's look at the same set of data. Um, exposed here we'll take to be the hypertensives, unexposed to be non-hypertensives. And so we're going to calculate these two odds and divide them. So the odds ratio of cardiovascular disease and hypertensives versus non-hypertensives. The odds in hypertensives is the, uh, the 181 divided by 659, events divided by non-events. And then for the uh, non-hypertensive, the events, 188 divided by non-events, 2754. We do that arithmetic and we get 4.02. Uh, uh, another way of calculating odds ratio, and this I mentioned this simply because it's, um, it's a formula given in the book and I want to explain a little bit more about uh, what this ratio or how this formula works, is um, odds ratio, we can calculate the, the prevalence of, um, of our uh, unexposed, of our, excuse me, our prevalence of exposed group and our prevalence of our non-exposed group and uh, do some arithmetic with them. So we can take the prevalence of the, the hypertensives divided by 1 minus the prevalence uh, of the hypertensives and then we do the prevalence of the non-hypertensives and divide, and divide them similarly. So the prevalence in hypertensives is we're going to take the number of hypertensives with cardiovascular disease, 181, and divide that by the total number of hypertensives, which is uh, 840. So that right there is the prevalence of cardiovascular disease in hypertensives. And then we divide by 1 minus that prevalence. Uh, the prevalence in non-hypertensives is the number of non-hypertensives with cardiovascular disease and divide that by the total number of non-hypertensives. So that's the prevalence of non-hypertensives. And then we uh, divide by 1 minus that prevalence. And we do that arithmetic and we get the same thing. And that's really the point. We get the same odds ratio to, uh, regardless of which uh, formula we use. So either way we do it, we get an odds ratio of 4.02. 
So we should ask, what does this mean? So uh, odds ratio of 4.02 means the odds of having cardiovascular disease are about four times higher in people with hypertensive as compared to people without hypertension. And uh, so, um, uh, in other words, that people with hypertension are much more likely to get um, uh, cardiovascular disease than those people without hypertension. Um, uh, odds are a way of measuring likelihood of something happening. It's just another way of, of doing it. They have several different ways of measuring it. They all mean informally the same thing, a measure of how likely something is to occur. In this case, this odds ratio of four means that it's about four times more likely to occur in hypertension in hypertensive people than non-hypertensive people. Okay. Uh, last thing I want to briefly discuss here is this table 3.7 on page uh, 30 of the textbook, which summarizes the key formulas that talked about in this lesson and in this uh, table or in this uh, chapter. Um, and uh, so here we see uh, point prevalence, cumulative incidence, incidence rate, risk difference, population attributable risk, relative risk, odds ratio. And these are the same formulas given here in this lesson. But I want to mention that there's a typo here in this lesson. Um, when calculating the population attributable risk, they give, uh, they give uh, three different formulas here. Uh, this last formula is the one that we use. The second formula here, though, has a typo in it. This uh, denominator should be the cumulative incidence of overall as opposed to the unexposed. And uh, so um, this, uh, this is a nice table. It summarizes all the formulas. So feel free to use this when, uh, when calculating uh, these numbers and when doing your homework.